Hi everyone, today I'm gonna to show you how to make this quick and easy card using some products from Honey Bee Stamps' new Be Mine Valentine's Day release. So we are gonna make a fun rainbow background for our card and then we're going to add two heart-shaped lollipops as our focal images. So let's get started. To start, I'm gonna take the Fluttering Hearts cover plate die and the Fluttering Hearts pierced cover plate die and I just cut out these two panels on some white cardstock using those dies. And you can use these panels alone, but for this design, I'm gonna stack them together so you can see what that looks like. Now I'm gonna take my pierced heart background that we just die cut or embossed. And I'm going to use these markers here to make a nice soft rainbow for the background of this panel. And I'm gonna start with my pink. And so I'm gonna just add some stripes of RV52 along the top, maybe about three quarters of an inch worth. You can make your rainbows as thick or as thin as you like. Um, and then I'm gonna take a pretty yellow orange color YR21 and add my second stripe. And then I'm just gonna kind of make sure that the yellow, orange, and pink are blended together there. And now I'm gonna take my yellow, which is Y11, and I'm gonna make my next rainbow stripe and then make sure that the orange is nice and blended. And then we're gonna take a yellow green. This is YG03. It's a nice light shade of yellow green that I use often. And I'm just gonna blend that together with my Y11. And this blending isn't that important. You're really not gonna see very much of like where the rainbow begins and ends because a lot of, the, of that is gonna be covered up by the dye. But since I had my markers out, I just wanted to soften the line a little bit. That was BG01 for our blue shade of the rainbow. And then we're gonna take some B63, which is a real pretty light purple shade that I just love. And we're gonna add that to our rainbow. And then we're just gonna start over again with our pink. And I think we're gonna have enough room on this background for two more stripes. So we're gonna make one more stripe of the pink and then one more stripe of the yellow orange and then we're going to um, move on to the next step in putting together this really pretty clean and simple and quick and easy card. And once I have my rainbow completed, then we're going to take the fluttering hearts cover piece and we're just gonna place that so that it matches the little pierced hearts on the inside, if you can see that. And then I'm just gonna run some adhesive along the back of that panel and then place it right on top of that rainbow panel that we just covered in. And that looks so pretty. Another idea, it might be fun to use some white glitter paper here as well. You could also use some black for a different look. And now for our lollipop, I'm gonna use this lollipop from the Sweet Treats stamp set by Honey Bee Stamps. And as you can see, other than the lollipop, there's lots of great little chocolates and cookies and bonbons as well that are included in this stamp set. But we're just gonna use this little lollipop. And I'm gonna take some memento black ink and stamp it onto a piece of Express It blending cardstock. And um, to start with our red lollipop, I just love to put that little yellow orange highlight in the center whenever I'm gonna color a bright red. I just like the way that it blends. Um, and then we're gonna color in our little lollipop stems with some browns. So I'm using E27 and E35, but any browns will work here. And now we're gonna add some shading along the edge of our red lollipop with that R39. I'm gonna make the shading a little bit thicker on the right side, but it's not necessary to fuss so much. You can um, either leave the shading off or you can just go all around the heart, the same size, depends on what you like. And then I blended the R39 with some R29 and then blended everything inwards with R24 and then finished with my YR12. And now I'm just gonna fuss around a little bit until I get the red looking just the way that I like it, which is really, really bright and glowy in the center and then dark on the edges. 
And now we can move on to our peachy pink lollipop. And the cool thing about this, the colors in this lollipop is that there's also this adorable little pig that is part of the Honeybee Stamps Valentine's release. And um, I think it's the um, bad influence stamp set. And these colors that I'm using here to color this lollipop are also great colors to use if you want to um, color in a pig. So the R00, the R30, and then the RV42 will make a great um, color combination for a little pig. I know when I first started coloring and I would color pigs, I would go right to my, my pink shades like R81, 83, 85, and my pinks would always look, my pigs would always look a little bit off. And then I realized that it's because the pigs are really more of a peachy um, color than than a pink color. So this is a real nice combination for those that little piggy from the Bad Influence stamp set. Now for the sentiment on our card, I'm going to use a sentiment from the XOXO stamp set. And I chose this because I think it just fits perfectly with this card design. We're going to take the Love You stamp and I'm going to stamp it with some black VersaFine ink. And then we're going to use the die that goes along with the Love You sentiment to cut it out. That's one of the things I love about Honeybee Stamps products. A lot of times for their sentiments, they will have these specialized little dies to fit the sentiments as well. So that you cover up as little as possible of your card design with a uh, sentiment. Now I'm gonna add this panel to a A2 size card base and just tape that on. And now we can decorate the front with our two little lollipops. And I'm going to take some foam here. This is Doris 1 8 of an inch um, foam tape. And the reason that I like this is because whenever I have a real thin area I need to tape, I like to use the Doris instead of having to cut the larger foam tape myself. So this is a great product if you ever have to, um, if you ever want to pop up a little image like this that has a real narrow end to it. And then I'm just going to cut apart the rest of that little strip to make the foam for the rest of my images. Usually when I'm using foam tape, I like to just use one type of foam tape and not switch back and forth because all foam tapes have slightly different heights and you could have lumpy images if you don't, if you aren't consistent with the foam tape that you're using on a card. So here, even though it would make more sense to use a larger foam tape for the heart, um, I'm just going to cut up my little strips because I want everything to be the same height. And if you noticed, I did not add foam tape to the center of one of the hearts because it's going to cross our red heart and you'll see how that works in a second. So we don't need foam tape there. So this, the heart that you lay down first is going to have foam tape all along the back. And then the heart that you cross over, um, the first heart, you're going to just leave a little area empty so that it can sit directly on top of the other lollipop. And the same thing for the sentiment. We don't need foam tape in the center of the sentiment because it's going to go right across our two little images there. And then the last thing we're going to do to decorate our card is to take some glossy accents and just apply it to the top of those little heart lollipops. And I thought that this was a nice touch because it does help to reinforce the idea that these are lollipops. They look nice and glossy, just the way a lollipop in real life would look. And I just, um, I just really, really like this look for this card. It just gives a pretty simple design, a little something special to kind of finish off the design. So once we're finished with that, that is going to complete this clean and simple, quick and easy card design. That's perfect for um, any occasion really, but in particular, I think it would be great for a Valentine's Day card, um, an encouragement card, or anytime you just wanna tell someone in your life that you love them. So thanks so much for joining me today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope you check out the rest of the products in Honey Bee's new Be Mine Valentine's Day release. Thanks so much. And I will see you again soon in the next video.